If you're trying to figure out an easy way to automatically follow up with people inside of Gmail, try using the topinbox.com. It's totally free, and here's how I use it. Now, before you install the top inbox, this is what your compose window looks like. After you install the top inbox, this is what it looks like. You have a send later option, an eyeball, a clock, and this little double arrow. This is the auto follow-up that I use, and here's how it works. Let's say I'm messaging John about this proposal, and I don't want to have to remember to follow up in, say, four days if he doesn't reply, or six days, or ten days. Well, I can set all those messages up now to save me time. So I can go in here and pick from a template that is already working really well in terms of getting responses, or I can create my own. So let's say, you know, new follow-up proposal sequence or template. I can then say, if this message is not opened, clicked or replied, I'll say replied in two days, send this message. And I might just say, hey, just making sure you saw this. Now I can add another email to this chain. If that person still has not replied in six days, send this message, hey, bumping this, I know you're busy. Basically, I took all these, I had all these in a Word document and I just took them all from the Word document and basically put them all in this kind of follow-up sequence so they're all inside of Gmail. It saves me from copying and pasting. So you can keep doing this for as many emails as you want, all the way out to say 30 days even. All right, so many times I use this and I don't get a reply until the fifth or sixth follow-up email. This is you know, a great tool for salespeople, right? Should I stop following up? Hope you're well. Now, when you have your new proposal set up, email, this is email three, email two, email one. So if not replied in two days, send this. If still hasn't replied in six days, send this. And if it still hasn't replied in 14 days, send this. Once you get it how you want it, you can click approve, right? And then click send. The top inbox will then send that as an auto follow-up, which you can track over here on the left side of the page by clicking follow-ups. You'll notice it says follow-ups, there's three follow-ups. The next one is Sunday at 4.02 p.m. if not replied. And it's Friday at 4.02 now, so that's right, in two days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's the next follow-up. You can see all of the follow-up messages here. The yellow bar tells you when they'll get sent, right? This first one gets sent Sunday at 4.02. This one gets sent if they're not replied on 12.17, and this one at 12.03. Okay, 1203. And in fact, this is the next one that will get sent. Okay, so December 3rd, and if it's still not replied, December 17th. So that's how you do auto follow ups using the topinbox.com. I also like some other things they do, like the send later button. So you can click write an email today if it's in the evening and say send later tomorrow morning. That way your recipient is more likely to see it. It won't get lost overnight. I also use reminders. So if you're an inbox zero kind of person and you don't want to have to worry about an email right now, you can say, get this out of my inbox, but bring it back and remind me in four days or three months or two weeks, whatever you want. I also like open tracking. I use it not as frequently as some other ones, but I use it pretty frequently. This will tell me when a recipient actually opens the email. And I just showed you auto follow-ups. So it's all free. About 30,000 folks are using the top inbox. I wanted to share it with you guys. You can go to the topinbox.com to check it out for free now.